Hello and welcome everybody, I am Trovarium and today I'm going to show you how to create armatures for your miniatures. First of all, we have to decide what scale we want to do our armature in. And for uh, reasons of visibility, I'm going to start with an 80mm um, armature. Uh, but of course you could just do small ones. Um, or, or big ones. Um, to start with, you have to have a few uh, tools. First of all, of course, um, you will need some wire. Uh, prefer armature wire or uh, flower wire in aluminum. Um, for two reasons, you can you can bend um, that material easily and it doesn't break when you when you bend it so I prepared uh, a strip here that I will, I'm going to use uh, second you will need some kind of pliers ideally here you'll have uh, pliers with uh, round tips Pliers like these don't hurt uh, the material too much. Then, of course, you will need another set of pliers that you can clip um, the wire with. Also, some kind of measurement scale um, always helps. And in the end, you will want to mount your armature on some base. In this case, I use cork. Um, to start with, you can take uh, diagrams of skeletons uh, printed out in the correct in the correct scale, and I will show you in a later video how to do that in Photoshop. So as you can see, the 72 millimeter uh, scale is printed out as eight centimeters or 80 millimeters. Uh, from the top of the head to the heel and that sort of translates to this is actually 75 to the eyes 75 millimeters so you can either take a di diagram like this or um, and this is what I prefer um, these days you can take anatomy models uh, that's a, a resin cast that uh, I took a picture of and then scaled uh, the same way. You can see this is also 80 millimeters from the top of the head to the heel. Um, and uh, there's uh, a couple of different ways to, to start your armature. I'm in this video I'm going to show you the method that I am currently using and preferring. Um, I will show you two others in the next video. So this is um, our end product um, before you actually um, reposition and pose according to what you want to achieve in the miniature. So, how do, you, do we get from here to this? First of all, um, take a wire that is long enough and some would measure mm, the middle. Mine is about 25, 26 long, so I'll just take 13. And this is the first step. Ideally, you use your pliers so you can get a, a good bend. And this is what it should look like. Uh, 
uh, this area up here will be our head later on so make sure uh, this is parallel set and this up here will be our head and uh, the first thing we do is we make sure that um, this area is somewhat centered because it will be the spine of the miniature and um, what I do is I, I put um, the top of the, the wire up here about uh, halfway uh, to the forehead because we will bend that later um, in shape to to have our base for the head so the next thing I do is um, you, we want to, to create the, the legs and the hips and for that I will Position applies like that, and create two two bends like that. And um, I took about the the hip level, the hip bone level, as you can see, as reference for that. Then, um, on both sides, you, uh, roughly at the hip bone level, you will want to bend the legs. So you can see if uh, if you were making a a dot on the hip bone, it is about this length from the center. Of course, we want to do the same on the other side, and I'll just uh, use. sort of like eye measurement to do that. Of course you can do this by measuring from the printout as well. Okay, small correction. Okay, uh, from here, what I'm usually doing is I take uh, some wire that is even thinner, and what I what I do is I start here, and I give this uh, a U shape, so I can attach it here and press everything together. And I will just make sure that uh, this area isn't going to, to be moving afterwards. Okay, so I can clip that off here. I will want um, some room for attaching the hands, but uh, it will make sense when I show you. So now um, we have the spine and the legs ready. Or actually, we have what we have ready is uh, the hip bone, 
the hip area and uh, the spine. What we want to do next is we need to attach the arms and for that um, I'm taking the spine area just below or on, a, on the level of the, the collarbone and what I do is I will bend in with the pliers a shape like this um, I'll show you without the pliers in a second then it gets clearer just a u-shape like this and that is where my arms will go so didn't really prepare that so give me a second um, we'll take um, a second piece of wire make sure you have about twice the length of the arms and the length of your um, of the collarbone area clip it off and find your middle and now see why we have this this U shape uh, so it perfectly fits in here and what we can do now is attach this wire with the uh, with the thinner wire always try to to minimize the space um, you're actually using there because if you do this too thick you will have problems with um, with very uh, slim and filigree uh, sculptures alright we can fix the rest down here just clip off what you don't need also down here I have some excess that I want to get rid of and uh, you can still readjust uh, the middle of the arms like this So moving on from here, adjust the armature again so that you have um, the horizontal uh, wire just above the collarbone and then again up here I will just at the level of the, the ball joint, uh, you can't really see that. So at the top of the ball joint, I will, um, with my pliers, give it a twist. And also here I will mark it, and then with the pliers, fold down the arm. Thank you. 
readjust a bit and mm, for the next step I'm actually taking this view, the back view uh, so at the level of of the elbow I will bend in the shape of the elbow as well um, don't worry if this is uh, moving too much at the moment. We will give it a, a drop of super glue and then it will keep still. Uh, for the sake of being uh, symmetrical, I will just use this arm as well for, for the opposite arm. And you, you see here, I made a small mistake. Uh, always try to to have your wire without uh, without bends, so you don't confuse the actual bend that you that you do with some random imperfection. Okay, small correction. Check again that everything uh, works. Then uh, take some super glue. and just add a drop here and you can also glue this together for some extra stability need to wait a bit for it to dry you can also use activator spray of course but I didn't prepare that. And two more things that we need to do. Of course, we need to make sure we get the knees. So, at the level of the knees, I will um, grab it with my pincers. And make this bend. And measuring like this, I can uh, do the second bend as well. And the more, um, the more your experience rises with um, with the, the the number of armatures you create, the more this will be. Uh, you'll get the feel for how long does uh, does an arm have to be and so on. And the last step, well one of the last steps that we're going to do is we're gonna create um, a base for our head and what I do is I will just bend this in shape and move it back a bit Like 
that. And then uh, actually taking a side view of the diagrams. We need to acknowledge that uh, the spine isn't just isn't just uh, a line, but it's it's got this this double double S shape that we need to create. You know, you see my armature uh, right now. It's just um, the straight line. But uh, we actually need this double S shape. So um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create uh, the small bend here in the hip, and then the big arch in the in the back, the upper area, the the, um, the spine where where the rib cage attaches, like that, and the head. I will move it a bit back like this as well because um, there's the second S and we we want the the bulge back here to, to go back and create uh, the back of the head as well so uh, one more measure we have to do is down to down to the heels and they usually um, I usually make this section a bit longer and I just mark um, the length here and here just in case I need to readjust again. And at this point you would sort of decide um, what's the pose gonna be. You know, like, is she... or he, and in this case it's a she of course. Um, what is she going to do? Is she just gonna stand there? Or is she going to take a step? Let me care. Her uh, do a step forward in a sort of defensive position. I'm sorry, I step backward in a defensive position. Um, just for illustration purpose, I will speed that up a bit. Um, now our cork comes into play. And you will clip off uh, this area. Don't make it too short. I'm making it a bit shorter than, than necessary, so I can uh, quickly put it into the into the cork. Just use your pliers again. Make sure you decide on on the stance of the miniature. Don't just uh, put them in, you know, like this on the same. Um, line, but uh, we said it's gonna be a defensive step backwards, so one of the legs needs to go further to the front. Uh, carefully push it in, and you will want to push one, then push the other. 
because otherwise you're going to, to ruin the, the armature um, and bend it out of shape. Okay, so this is the stand she's going to take, and then of course you can decide um, on the hands. And uh, one thing you will want to take note of is um, you have these two planes or two lines here, the, the shoulder belt and um, the hip area, the hip belt, and they're of course connected with the spine. and. Um, they, they always sort of uh, look into into opposite direction usually um, like here in this miniature we have this shoulder facing downwards a bit then what you will want to do is um, get get this angle as well I you don't know, like this If this shoulder was um, looking the other way, pointing the other way, then we would also have the the hip area adjust accordingly. Okay, and uh, like I said, here you can just. Um, decide on, on your pose and your position. Here I made a an individual um, standing on a slope. You can also do that by adding um, different angles to your base and um, he's resting one foot on, on the slope and uh, most of his uh, weight uh, rests on, on this foot and then he also is holding uh, something like a spear um, like this and yeah you just uh, need to to adjust your your armature to this point accordingly um, in the next video I will show you how to um, put in the first elements of your sculpture which uh, is the, the hip area um, and um, the, the chest area in order for you to be able to sculpt on that with, uh, with the super sculpey. You need a, a base like that that you can glue the super sculpey on, but more in, this, in the next video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments, and I'll try to to answer them quickly. Also, make um, make sure you check out my my Twitch channel. I am live every day, every weekday at least, um, except Friday, and you can ask me questions there. I will put the link in the in the description. Also, you will find links to to the, the chart I'm using, and I can also give a link to this uh, if it's needed. For now, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.